It's the King, King J, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about Leroy in Tekken 8. This is the guide telling you about the key moves, Hermit Stance, Kane, and all of those things. So make sure you go check it out. Yo, what's going on everyone? It's King J, and we are here to talk about Leroy and do the Leroy guide. So first off, I'm gonna talk about the key moves. So first things first, obviously I'll say one, two, one, his jab as well. His jab is like plus one on block. So, you know, this will be your key kind of like thing to get in. Or one, two. Sometimes you can even delay and do one, two, one, two, one, which has a parry built behind it. But I'm gonna talk about the parry stuff, strings and all of those good stuff later on in the video. So you got two, one as well. I think this is pretty good. The third one, the third hit from 2-1-2 uh, two, two has a built-in parry. Again, I'll talk about it later on. Three is a good mid-poke if you don't want to get into like your heat engager. You can delay, but you have to be careful because the last hit is... Let's do block all. Last hit is minus 14. And I wouldn't want you to get like launched for that. Most characters have... You know, launches, Kazuya's launch is 13 frame, uh, Jin can do while standing too, which is 14 frame, and so forth. You also have sidestep 4, which I think is a good move. And the reason why I think this move is good is because you can mix sidestep 4 with sidestep back 4, both around the same frame startup. So this is 18 frames, this is 17 frames, right? So you can mix it up like that. Uh, back 4 doesn't have the same range as how it was in Tekken 7. But I think because he has, you know, back 3 and down back 3, they, they kind of made the range smaller. But again, seeing as we're on that topic, we might as well talk about these moves as well. Back 3 and down back 3 are super key moves. So these are moves that you would want to get into Hermit Stance, which is what Leroy's game plan is. is you know, about annoying, annoying your opponent making him you know double guess you know back three is high so you can duck down back three is low so you can duck and block uh both options but if you do back four you know up forward four which is a hurt um hold, not homing as an orbital you get a launcher so you you want to use this to open up your opponent you know down back three this is crouch block is minus eight right most people try to grab. So just be careful of just throwing it out, right? Back three as well is a very good move on, you know, plus eight on block does tons of chip damage. So yeah, this move is pretty good. You can also cancel uh, back three by pressing three plus four like that. So you could do stuff like, all right, let me explain something. So I don't want to go too off topic because there's a lot to get into. So let's say, for example, you done a combo. And I did this. Mix. Right? So you could do stuff like this. And then they're into a mix. Right? So it's entirely up to you. We're going to get into back three and down back three stuff later on. But for now, those are the key moves you want to use. Down four. Quick, quick low, 14 frames. You're minus one. So you could do down four, maybe down back four, but I don't like using down back four because on hit, you're minus four. On block, it's minus 15 currently in the game. So I feel like it's a big risk. Minus 15 means people will launch punish you. So we talked about side step forward and, and down four being low moves. You also have other moves like down three, two which goes into Hermit. But again, like I said, stuff that transition into Hermit we're gonna get into later on in the video. You've got up forward two, which does quite a bit of chip. So look, quite a bit of chip. Right, it's quite linear. People could sidestep uh, left and, sidestep and sidewalk left and right. It's not got that much tracking at all. So yeah, just be careful with that one. And then, um, got forward forward four so this makes you go into hermit so you could do four forward four <clears throat> and then you get hermit stuff four forward four two there there is a way you can tad delay it like that but 
it's not really worth mentioning it's just kind of like for the people that you know want to experiment you can do that and then um i think that is it in terms of like key moves outside of hermit i want to talk about stuff that makes him go into hermit as well so let's move on to that part so moves that make Leroy go into Hermit is down back three. Back three. Obviously, you can cancel back three and go into Hermit by pressing back three, three plus four. You've got uh, four, 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 which makes you go into Hermit. You have one, two, four, which is your 10th frame punish. You have forward, two, uh, uh, forward, two, four, three. So forward, four, two, three, four, sorry. You have down forward one four, which is 13 frames. So if you get a minus 13 frame moves, usually these are hot kicks. You can just do down forward one four and then you're into Hermit. So those are the key ones that you would be using. All right, so we're gonna talk about Leroy's counter hits and launches because he's kind of counter hit based and he's got some good launches as well. So, as you can see right now, we have counter hit back one plus two, which you get a combo from. Now, with back one plus two, this is quite interesting. This was it in Tekken 7, so for people that's transitioning from Tekken 7 to Tekken 8, or even just new players, you also get like this into one plus two, one plus two, one, which is a heat engager. Now, the reason why this is crazy is because this, scales a lot in combo as you can see the damage is not the same as these normal combos like so you just get like around 44 damage or stuff like that so it's a bit strange i think they done the reason why they've done that is because people was complaining about back one plus two in tekken seven i i think they should just change it back to the way how it was before i don't think anyone really wants this part i don't think no one really cares about this in my opinion, I think it should just go back to it being the way how it normally was. Because, yeah, you can get the plus 17 and stuff, but nah, I, just don't, I think I'd rather have the combo. You also have back one. Now, the reason why you would want to be using back one, I know it's 13 frames instead of 11 frames in Tekken 7. But the reason why this is good is because this is an attack throw, and attack throws don't give recoverable health. You know, if I did this, I do a combo, you start seeing recoverable health, right? Whereas this, this, this just does the damage. And if you have left over a couple of health, that's there. That's fine. But if you do this move, it will take this, I think it's 45 damage. Let me correct myself. Yeah, 45 damage. So it will do the 45 damage without leaving any recoverable health. Then you have down back. Um, you have, sorry, not that. You have back three which is plus 16. So from anything that's 16 frames or below, you get as a combo. So if I did this, I would only use this at the wall. And the reason why I say this, I'm gonna show you now, because at the wall, you get a proper combo. So, so you can do this. Or you could do down back one, two, right? So that's the reason why you would want to use that there. You can also use, don't get me wrong, you can also use this, but this is only if you don't want to go into heat. If you don't want to go into heat, then you would use four, one plus two option from Hermit, which we're going to get into Hermit next. So don't worry about all that stuff. I'm going to teach you all the Hermit stuff. But yeah, it's either, you'd either use four, one plus two, uh, if you don't want to go into heat or one plus two one plus two one if you do want to go into heat so yeah let's get out of this part here so let me change the wall go into the center okay you also have down back four as well so you get 14 frames right not that sorry And then you get like the same thing one plus two one plus two one or you get four one plus two right 
So these are pretty key moves in terms of count hit, launch, count hit stuff. Now he has launchers, which is 4 4 2 2. Up forward 4. While standing 2. Hermit forward 4. And down forward 2, 1 plus 2. Now you'd use down forward 2, 1 plus 2 as a standing launcher, right? So yeah, just be careful. He also, the other stuff that he has in terms of counter hit stuff. Let's go one more time. Two, one, two. Oh, sorry. I've got to get out of the right space to do this. So you get that as well as a, as a counter hit launcher. But it's on the last hit of two, one, two. And then you have like mini combos like this. So that's at the end of four, two, four, two, three, four. So, yeah, I think that is everything in terms of the counter hit stuff. So, I should be able to go on to what he can do to go in, like, what stuff he has in Hermit. So, let's talk about Hermit. All right, so Hermit is the stance that Leroy uses quite heavily in his game plan. So, Hermit is 3 plus 4. Or you can use moves that go into it, like I said before. You know, you're down back 3, you're back 3, down, four, uh, down forward 1, 4. 4 4 4 stuff like that right that 4 2 3 4 so these are your stuff that you can go into hermit now what do you get out of hermit stance so hermit starts you get a parry which is a parry guy talking about you know his normal parry and his perfect parry the, from what i know that the parry starts up from three frames onwards i think it's between three and 15 and then if you get it if you get it on the right time you get a perfect parry which yeah, there's a there's there's a there's a pun, there's a parry guide anyway. So check out that video because this will then make the video super long if I start talking about his parry stuff. He also has you know four one plus two, which is a fourteen frame move that knocks down. But if, if it's blocked, you're minus fourteen. You have back one, which is also counter hit launcher. Sorry. get like a mini combo like this see one more time sorry Do a little easy combo right so you also get back three one plus two which in the previous game was a sweep bang that wasn't locked behind hermit now what do i feel about this i feel like it's quite Annoying that he doesn't have sweet bang in the game anymore. I feel like hit being locked behind his hermit stance is pretty. It's, it's not the greatest, you know. Leos can still do sweet bang because he can still do um, sweet bang. I feel like they should have left that. She should have left Leroy to have that because it was kind of like he never had no plus frames anyways. So you'd kind of like throw out that move to kind of like get people off you sometimes. Or you just use it to mix people up. Now you have now it's locked behind Hermit. It's like ah, uh, and it's yeah, it's not really seeable. But again, it's locked behind Hermit. So that's why I feel like they really want you to use this this Hermit stance in the game. So now you got like I said, you got forward one, which I think is absolutely useless in my opinion. There's no real reason to use this. Like you don't get anything from it being on counter hit. Like you, it used to counter hit launch. I wish they kind of revert it back to that. But yeah, it is what it is. And then you also have back four, Hermit back four. So this counter hit launches. You can get whatever you want. But I'm just mucking around with the combos. But yeah, you get her, you get that one as well. I would prefer to use this over Sweet Bang because this is only minus 13 on block. Whereas the Sweet Bang is launch on block. So it's a big risk. You also get the new addition now, which is one plus two, one plus two, one. Now the reason why this is good is because it's a heat engager, but not only that, it starts it up at 14 frames and you can hit confirm. So as you can see, all I need to do is press one. Now I'm gonna put my commands on so you can see how slow the, the confirm can be. But look, watch this. I'm gonna do it very late. So 
So you could just throw this out and see what's going to happen. Now, the problem with this is that when it, when Kazuya, I'm going to show Kazuya to block. When they're blocking, it doesn't do any chip damage. Now, when I'm in heat... It does chip damage, but it does take quite a lot of the... The heat, the heat buff, probably could get free. Right, so it's okay, but I'd say use it your own your own choice. So obviously forward four hermit, um, forward four from hermit's pretty good, but again quite linear. People can sidewalk and then launch you for it, so you have to be careful. And then you'll have Hermit 3-4, uh, which is low high, low mid, sorry. Now, the reason why this is good is because it starts at 16 frames. So it's pretty fast. But you're, you're only plus one. I would love for this to have more plus, if I'm honest. Like, plus one is not enough in a game like Tekken 8, you know? And I know people are going to be like, oh, what do you mean it should be more? It's like, well... You've got other characters that do down 3-4, like Harang and stuff like that. And does a lot of plus, right? So I'd, I'd rather like do this and have and then have a lot of plus, right? So, uh, yeah. So I feel like I've done everything for her. Oh, 2-3 as well. This is in your combo, by the way. Damn, this does a lot of damage, boy. One second, let me see stun block. So it is a natural combo, but like you ain't gonna you ain't gonna use this like that. But in saying that, it does start up at 12 frames, which is pretty fast. Not as fast as four, but it is it's a high high. So just be careful. Usually this is used in combos. So like, uh, let's let's do a standard combo. So you this is your kind of like tornado attack, right? So, that's where it would be used. Your, your combos would probably be something like this. Which will end in 4, 3, 1, plus 2, 4. But if you do like, I don't know, let's say you do this. 4, 2, 3, 4. And you go into Hermit, you'd use Hermit 2, 3. Right? And you're only minus 9 if they block. So, it's not a big deal. So, I feel like I've went over everything. Yes, Hermit forward 4, Hermit back 1, Hermit back 4. Hermit 4, 1 plus 2. Obviously, if you use Hermit 4, you stay in stance. And you're minus, you're minus 7. Oh, he has a Sabaki as well for punches and kicks. But this is now minus 10. So, I don't know if you lot remembered like how it was in Tekken 7. But in Tekken 7, it used to be minus 9. I, I think it was minus 9. Anyways, you couldn't punish this. I think they should revert it back just because of the nature of the game. It's very, very aggressive. And it's like, it's only punches and kicks. Don't, you don't need to like, people are not using Leroy because he's just so like, on the frames, he's not good on, on the frames at all. But in the current uh, version of the game, yeah, this is minus nine. I mean minus 10, sorry. Now on counter hit, you can get a combo like that, right? Which is four, 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 one plus two. So yeah. So I think that is everything. I've spoke about this. Spoke about four, four. This. Hey, I might have four or something. I don't know where you'd use that, but that was just me just practicing in randomly in um practice mode but yeah that's all the stuff from hermit i don't know anything else obviously again we could i could show you quickly about the parry just in case someone says oh you didn't talk about the parry in depth enough okay there go. right so i've set kazuya to do one and then down forward one now watch this so this is the normal parry that's when it's not timed right you gotta time it at the right time like that right Again, like I said, starts up at starts up at free frame, so you have to time it correct, like that. And if you do it right, 
you get blue spark from the parry, right? Depending on some moves, if you get it right, you could get a launcher. So it's just depending on some moves. So that move is not as slow on recovery. So we're going to do one down for two. So you could either you could either do that or tap up and do uh one plus two. So that's just the normal one. But you have to tap up to cancel. And then you get that, right? So you tap up and press uh one plus two, but you have to tap up at the right time. Yeah, it's pretty it's, it's something you can learn. It's not it's not hard. It's just you have to practice it. You just have to practice it. There we go. So yeah, that's what his parry is like. You have the normal one, which does like if so like look, it does scare him out of that. Thirty damage. And then you have the perfect parry, which does thirty-five damage. I think it should do forty damage personally. Like make it make it feel like an achievement. But then. Is what it is, but yeah, if the moves are bigger, you usually could do down forward uh, three plus four, or you could sidestep and do uh, or tap up and do, do down forward two one plus two. That's if the moves are big, like I don't know, like let's say for example, let's change character. Leroy, um, Phoenix. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, so let's do... Okay. Cool. So this move here, like what? As you can see, it says punish on the bottom. Punish again. So there we go. So that's how you would use the parry and, you know, all the stuff in Hermit with Leroy. He has four, three, one plus two, four. He has down back one, two. He has down four, three plus four. He also has 4 1 plus 2 from Hermit. And he also has 2 3 from Hermit. So these are your tornado attacks. So this is what continues on the combo. So, like, let's say, for example, I did this. You could then do, you know, whatever else you want to do in your combo. So, like, let's do. Up 4 3 plus 4 1 plus 2 is the ender. Uh, Back three plus four is the ender. Or if you really wanna like do combos, you can either do this one. So this is a jab, Michael Dash, uh, back three plus four. So like, or you could do it from doing standing two, back and then Michael Dash back three plus four. So yeah, that's what your tornado attacks would be. In terms of like, other stuff as well. So we'll talk about tornado attacks. Leroy is the only character that can use Kane once per match. In this version of Tekken 8, you could see by under his health bar that he has the Kane icon, right? So mid Kane currently I don't really like because sometimes it misses. So that's my alarm. Yeah, sometimes it misses. You know, if you want to get a combo, usually you'd sidestep. Uh, side step to the to to his right. Yeah. 
You could do you could do whatever other combo you wanna do. So like this is me mucking around. So you can get something like that, right? But I'm gonna do like a proper combo stuff at the end of the video. So don't be alarmed if you don't see anything. I'm not telling you the combos now. I kind of want to get you into the moves that you should be using with the character and stuff like that. So yeah, he's got mid game, which is forward two plus three. And then he has low game, which is down back two plus three. Now the reason why this is, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Is because it's pretty fast as you can see look 20 frames 20 frames and you can get a combo so usually I would do with a micro dash there are other combos don't get me wrong like I don't know I still don't really know what the full combos are I don't know what the full combos are, so I don't really even try. I tried to just do this one. And then micro dash and then do four uh, back three plus four like you saw earlier on. Now, I'm going to show you what the moves are on block. So, if you see this one, minus seven, right? Now, crouch block, minus 14. But the thing with... Uh, the low cane is it gives instant tornado so you have to kind of like figure out what you're going to do sh straight away there are also instances where you can do this i can i cancel your heat like this and then you get a combo now the reason why you would want to do that is because if you look at the scaling so I'm going to do a basic combo and show you how it works. So, I'm going to do down 3-2, two, 2-3, two, right? 55 damage, right? So the scaling changes when you cancel your heat, right? So there are combos that you can do with it. Where, you know, the scaling ain't going to be that much. So that's 84 damage, right? So you can do some unique stuff, but that's entirely up to you and what you want to use. Now, I think I, what I talked about, I spoke about low cane, mid cane. I want to talk about his heat engages. So, yeah. All right, so Leroy's moves that go into heat, which are called heat engages, are forward 4-4. Four, four. One plus two, one plus two, one, which is a 14th frame punish. You also have Sabaki down back one plus two, which deflects punches and kicks. You have Hermit starts one plus two, one plus two, one. And then you have down one plus two. So those are his heat engages. Now, the thing with Leroy in heat. The reason why he's so strong in heat is purely because once he gets into heat, ship damage. Like, look at the ship damage. I was going to set him to block everything. Like, you could literally have so much ship damage from his multiple punches or machine gun punches. But look how much. That is so much. Right? And then even, like, his other stuff as well. So, like... If you look at back three. If we're up forward two, I think up forward two is a really good one that people need to start using a lot. Like I, I, like, I was discovering this recently that yeah. So he does have a he does have a bunch of good moves that do chip, but. Yeah, back three, back one does a lot and it's quick. 30 is 30 frames. But yeah, it's really good.
Oh, and also slice the one plus two from Hermit as well. I didn't talk about this move in the Hermit stuff because it's, I wanted to talk about it in this part of the video because it has awesome amount of chip and your plus seven. And I think this is the perfect time to kind of like talk about, you know, chip damage and, chip damage and all of that stuff. So yeah, Hermit size step one plus two is a very, very key move in this game. You can sidestep either up or down. And it does chip, right? Now, what does it do when you, when you actually hit? You're plus 30. So, this move is plus 22. So, I could do intermix, right? And I know it sound, this is going to sound very weird when I'm saying this. That's 22 frames, right? So... If I did, let's say for example I did, I could then continue on. Or I could do Hermit Slice. So yeah, they can duck that, but they can't duck. Hold on, let me show you. So actually after all, so we'll do, we'll do standing and then we'll do, oh sorry, let's do crouch. So let's do. So they can duck this. But just be careful. Like I said, look, you could mix them up like this. And then they have to guess. So just do four, right? Or if you don't even want to do that, you think that's a bit risky. Up four three. I feel like this is the this mid is a very good mid to kind of get people second guessing on if you're gonna do a low or a mid. Yeah, you have three, but you, I would want the knockdown, if I'm honest, because then I can run up and have pressure. So, moving on from that, in heat, yeah, this move, this move is a nightmare in heat, because how about ship damage? So you just mix it up with the machine gun punches, and you take off a lot of chip damage. Also, we'll talk about his heat smash as well while we're here. Obviously, every character has a heat smash. Leroy has one, but you could do it in two ways. You could have to do it standing like this. Which does 41 damage, which I think is a bit underwhelming for a standing heat smash. But you could also do it in Hermit Stunt. So you could, I could be like doing down 3-2. So I could do it from both Hermit or I could do it from standing. Which is pretty good because obviously he has like, you know, the low stuff. You know, the sweet bang and back four. So you can mix them up while you're in your heat. So, yeah. And also as well, if you didn't know, I know people might not know this, but yeah. If he, well, if it allows me. You can get a combo from Sugar. Like it doesn't, it, it's not in the command list. He keeps saying my last resort. I think it's changed from like CBT because he has said something else before. Yeah, I guess that's what he says now. But yeah, so. You can there's there's stuff you can do in heat. You see, it's pretty good. It's effective. Mas the machine gun punches is basically the main thing you want to do. Mix up with down back three, back three, uh, back one, up forward two, because they do a lot of chip. So yeah, hopefully this has helped you. We're gonna now move on to the next part. Combo building with the character, I would say the combos that I usually go for is up forward four, down forward four, three. 4, 3, 1, plus 2, jab, micro dash, back 3, plus 4, right? Now, there are more complicated combos, for sure, but that's the combo that I usually go for. 4, uh, four forward, 2, 2, I would usually go for 4, 2, 3, 4, into hermit, 2, 3, jab, and then micro dash, but this is a bit more difficult.
you'd have to dash close to the opponent after the, te uh, the tornado and then do the jab, then micro dash and then do back three plus four, right? In terms of Kane combo, as you sidestep three, four, three, down three, two. And then I'll try to get the dash, but even then that one's a bit hard. So there we go. Yeah, that one's hard. I can't lie, that one's pretty hard. And then orbital would be this one. So yeah, that's it for those combos. In terms of heat stuff, I would do... You could also do this one. No, not that one. Sorry, my bad, my bad. If you dash out close enough, you can get this one. Hold on. I'm gonna try that one more time. So you can get that as well. So, just kind of like for your information, when you do your heat dash combos, you can use forward 4-4, four, four, or you can use down back one plus 2 to continue with the combo. So like, I was going to do a basic combo. But when you jab, it's always good to jab and dash with it. You could either use this, which is 5, or you could use 2, which is 10. So let's say for example, I did this. So two will do more damage, right, than one. One is five, this is two, right? I don't make the rules, I don't know why. Before someone says to me, oh, but why? I, I don't know. But always remember that when you're running, stop and let go of four, two, because you're gonna get this if you run with it and do this. You have to run, let go, and then two, press two. So you run, let go. And then that you do whatever else you want to do. So like, let me, just, let me just do a basic combo. And then you'll do down back one plus two because down back one plus two does a lot of damage by itself. That one plus two, uh, what's that one he has? Multiple punches, multiple punches. Yeah, so you'd use down back one plus two. Okay, so let's quick combo building. Dash up, two, and then cancel. So I forgot to cancel. Can do it one more time. Right. So yeah, that will kind of be your combo. It depends on what you want to use. You can experiment with whatever else you want to you try out. But yeah, that would be your combo. There was in some instances where you could do down uh, down one two four to pick them up. That was like with Victor and bigger characters. Not like huge characters. They're just underneath like, you know, Jack and Kuma and stuff like that, but they removed that. So yeah. Is Okay, cool. So I think there's, I think this in this section we should talk about like what I, how I would approach using Leroy and then I think we'll wrap it up. All right, so the final part of the video, I'm gonna teach you 
just the overall game plan of Leroy. Leroy is the only character that has a move you can use once per match. So use it wisely. Don't just use it at the start of the match. You can if you want to, but I would use it as a comeback mechanic if you're feeling in a way of like, oh, I need to come back. So you'd, you've either got the low or the mid cane. You also have like access to moves that make him go into Hermit. So use those wisely. Obviously down 3-2 is pretty cool because it's a 16 frame, you know, low, pretty quick. But people wouldn't kind of like feel that, oh, he's coming close to me. So I know that he's going to do down 3-2. Sometimes people run up and then do it. So sometimes run up and do orbital. Sometimes run up and do back four. Sometimes run up and do back three. Sometimes run up and just do down forward one, right? Like these are these are good tools. Just sometimes run up and just do this, you know? So you could do running free. You could do back free. You know, down back free. Back free and down back free are very crucial for when you want to get into Hermit because again, these are quite quick. You know, 20, 20 frames, 22 frames, you know? I feel like they're pretty, pretty quick. I think at high level, sometimes people might be able to see that you're going to do this. But if you mix it up with back four, it becomes a bit of a guessing game. And obviously, you got up four two. So up four two could confuse them too, because it's a mid. So there's like loads of different strats you can use with this character. I'd, I feel like he's, he's not the greatest at the minute. But that's maybe personal preference. I think... Some people, I think a lot of people do agree and put him like low on their tier list and he's got low usage, but I still want to make this character work because I really do like him. And I did say in Tekken 7 that I don't mind if he's low tier, bottom tier, I'm going to make it work. He's just been really stressful at the minute because he doesn't have much plus frames. The only plus frames that he does have outside of like, you know, them being high is Hermit, Hermit back one, which is plus four, right? This move being plus four is cool and then up four two is plus one but everything else you know, like you know back threes are high you know it's good but it's not great it's, it's, a, it's a plus frame high and then you have obviously size, hermit size step one plus two which is plus seven but i have to be in hermit size step and then do uh one plus two and this is high 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 right so you can start this so you would have to do side step back four or side step up four two just to mix up your opponent, right? So that they don't guess. So that will be the mind game. Or you could decide to do down, the, uh, down back three. So th that will be your mind game. You, again, you want to throw in orbital because this is going to be pretty crucial. If someone whiffs something big, you want to go 4-4-2-2 for the whiff punish. Again, be careful because this is minus 15. I do think this should be minus 14, but it is where it is. Minus 15, I think... It is ways. It's a big risk. You got full four three as well. Again, this is a high. Depending on the range, you could make it like plus. So, like, say for example, if I did it from here, it's, it's like very range dependent. Like, you could make it plus just for like mind games. But you have to know mentally like where you are on the frames because it could be plus one, plus two, plus three, or you could be minus. So yeah, you could use that move as well. Use side step four if you get counter hit side step four. You get you get a uh, standing two two, which is chunky damage. That's fifty damage if you get this. You could have a use four four as well. I don't know why you want to use four four over uh, two two because four 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 does plus three, whereas two two does plus seven, and then they're in the mix. So you would really want to use side step four. Right, that was pretty cool. Even on counter here, it doesn't really do anything. It's just minus one, but it's just a quick load. Kind of get people. You can do that jab, jab, down four, you know, side step four. So yeah, stuff. And then obviously, like again, like I said, he he has power crush. I think this power crush is is okay. It's pretty quick, but the only issue with this is in Tekken Seven. It would wall splat, right? Minus 13 is pretty hefty to be just throwing out that move. Like, people probably not used to it because of Tekken, Tekken uh, 7. But, yeah, this doesn't wall splat. Like, I don't know why. It's... It just knocks them down. So, you know, it's just one of them ones. Where you have to pray out if you feel like you're in trouble and you feel like you really want to get out of stuff. Obviously, you have back one. 
if you were or back one or back one plus two if you were to get out of trouble so i don't know why yeah they done that as a power crush back one is a really good for counter hit back one plus two is good for counter and it's a mid and it's faster this is 17 frames so obviously back one and back uh back one and back one plus two don't have armor so you can't armor through certain things but yeah you can use for one plus two uh, another two kind of stuff that I didn't mention earlier on in the guide is obviously the G cliff. Now G cliffs usually are when the first hit hits and the counter hit, the rest is guaranteed. So it's a string of attacks. If the first hit hits, the rest is guaranteed. But also the another one is down forward one, one plus two, one. So as you can see this one here, And then you have, oops, then you have this, which is knocked down. I usually do free free, but you can you can side roll. So like, let's just try and get him to ground technique. Side okay, move right. See, not guaranteed. Even that one's not guaranteed. So it's like. It's up to you what you want to use. You could even just go manually into Hermit, if I'm honest. Manually into Hermit. Then it's a mix. So it's entirely up to you. So against the wall, up forward two, up forward three, down back three to Hermit. <coughs> you know, I would sometimes just do down back three if you get hit. I would sometimes just let it go. I know this minus 14, but sometimes you have to risk it. You could do down 3-4 and be safe, but then obviously if they block that, they launch. Or you could just let it rip into whatever else you want to do. And then go back to normal. Another key move again. Let me just go back to set it to neutral. Another key move is down forward 3. I think down forward 3 is really cool. Because you can stay in, you can stay in Hermit or press 3 plus 4 to come out of it. Or sidestep and do 1 plus 2, it's entirely up to you. So I think it's pretty key. Back 1, Hermit. Back 4, Hermit. Forward 4. And 1 plus 2 hit confirm is what I use from Hermit as well. These are pretty key in my game plan as well. For like parry stuff, I'll try and do, I'll try and do like stuff like up forward 1. I will always use that. If I get hit down with something full scratch, I'll try to use up forward one. Right? And then obviously remember to use the cane. And I think that is it for me. I, I feel like those are the moves that I would use. I think I need to start trying using down down two four. But down, down two four doesn't have hit confirm anymore. So obviously on, on counter hit, it's a combo, but I think it's such a big guess now on myself because before you used to be able to hit confirm, you can't hit confirm. Not even hit confirm, sorry. You could you used to be able to de delay it. You can't even delay it. So you just have to go for it. That is your, and the worst thing is, is that with this is, let me show you something. So you could be standing here, right, right, a second. The second is not guaranteed. So it's, it, it's a, it don't, if this was natural combo, okay. But, nah. They can block the second hit. Even on hit. So, yeah. Just a quick roundup of his punishment before we wrap up the video. You have 1 2 4, which is 10 frame. 2 2, which is 12 frame. 4 4, which is also 12, 12 frame. This is if you're, you know, you're at a certain range. You can't reach. 2 2 won't reach. You could use 4 4. Down forward, 1 4 is good. You're plus three after and you're in Hermit. You have one plus two, one plus two, one, which is an amazing, an amazing 40 frame. Then you have down forward two, one plus two for your combo. I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm really getting bad at missing that. I don't know why. But yeah, it's literally jab, dash, that. That's that's what it's meant to be. So don't overthink it. 
while standing one is obviously you got while you got uh, crouching one. You have while standing four, which is eleven frames. You have while standing one, four, which is thirteen frames, and then you also have up forward one plus up four three plus four one plus two, which is fourteen frames. So like low moves, you have to. Uh, well, I wouldn't say crouch catch. You just go. You just press up forward uh, three plus four one plus two. And then 15 is while standing to you. Into your combo. So yeah, overall, I hope hopefully this helped you out. This is how I play Leroy. You know, I'm currently at Tekken King. Uh, there's still some stuff that I want to try out with the character, some stuff that I want to implement into his game plan because I feel like he's quite a strong character across the board. But I just feel like everyone i think he's weak if i'll be honest but i feel like his tools are good but he just has no plush frames and again in a game that's aggressive you kind of need plush frames to kind of enforce mix-ups onto your opponent if you have no plush frames then it becomes hard which is why characters like Asuka, uh leroy and these characters are not at the top of the list because what they have done is they've implemented this kind of like game where it's meant to be aggressive and it's like oh well Get ready for you know you're meant to be aggressive in the game but you have no plush frames you know you've got like parries and stuff in the game which parries are not that great do you just see what i'm saying so it's a bit difficult so what would i say if i done something like this against the against these type of stages you definitely want to be using back three plus four before using your tornado attack so let's say for example you done no, sorry. Let's just move him to the wall. It'll be easier. Wall battle. So you can't do something like that. So you can do this. We're gonna damage already. So you would do. Yeah, sorry. You know, my brain had a bit of a fart then. So you could do forward, forward, four, four, one plus two. It's something like that, right? But the whole reason why I'm telling you about this is because if you get into a situation like this, it's always good to use this attack throw. Because you get this. You can get, get combos, like really, really big combos from just doing that. So, yeah. You can even use Big Kane. If you want to use Big Kane. Don't know if this is going to work. Too far. Let's try it. Let's try it one more time. This is basically combo building at the minute. So that's pretty good damage, right? You could do you could do the same thing from low king. like low key and heavily scales but it's like i said there's loads of things you could do from this like even if you do like for example let's bring him a bit closer stand and approach let's say for example oh sorry i know what i'm doing wrong. more time Would it work if I do this? Nah, it ain't gonna work that way. But yeah, I would say... Yeah, using your attack throw before you do the tornado is always good, in my opinion. So yeah, that is... I think that's it. 
um, there's one thing I wanted to like. I've, I've been saying the one thing for, for this throughout this whole video, but there is one crucial move that I am trying to use in my gameplay, which I feel like it's risky, and I'm not gonna tell you to use it, but I'm just gonna talk about this move just right now so that you can understand before I close out this video. So back three plus four. This move is really good, especially against the wall. Because as you can see, like, you know, if they they start ducking. I get this big damage, right? So it's minus 14 though. So I'm not gonna say that, you know, you should throw it out because this move is unsafe. Minus 14 is pretty big. That is basically a lot of characters heat engages. So uh, me personally, I'm gonna start using this move because at tip range, you can catch people. And yeah, don't get me wrong, they can punish you. But if you if they try, if you catch them running in, it is good. Like it's not like it's minus 15, minus 14. Yeah, cool, fair enough. But minus 15 is launch. So you can catch people just run it in. So I'm gonna see what I could do with this move. But yeah, other than that, uh, I appreciate everyone that's watched this video. This has been the Leroy guide. I know this guide is gonna be super long, but people have been asking, when is the Leroy guide? When is the Leroy guide? When is the Leroy guide? And yeah, here it is, it's here now, man. Finally, I just there, there's a lot of things I wanted to talk about. There's a lot of moves that I think are pretty good with the character. I, I put it into different sections so you lot can find the timestamp of what you lot want and yeah. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Other than that, let me know if you like the video. Like, I'd appreciate it if you like to leave a comment or even subscribe. It's free, you know. And yeah, if you like like videos like this, I could do more. I'm gonna still continue on with the character. So yeah, I hope you like can give me support because I know you like can see that I've been stressing out with this character a lot, man. But other than that, take it easy, everyone. Peace.